Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. I'm just going to dive into uh, Cardano once again. Thank you for support, okay? Big up the Coins Kid crew. Thank you to each and every single one of you for everything that you do. Sorry I've not done a Cardano update for about a week now, is it? Because I've been on holiday, obviously, and I've been just trying to get a couple of updates out every day. But I'm home now, so I'm going to get Cardano out every day to you just to keep you updated, okay? So straight off the bat, you know, Cardano is broken out of this falling wedge. You fell back into it as support. You've held it as support. And right now, look, you're creating these high lows. And you basically got this kind of horizontal boom 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 you come into the apex once you start to break out you're looking at retracement to all these highs okay we are looking at a relatively bullish couple of months here for cardano and crypto in general you know and, and the appreciation of the total market capitalization of crypto we're looking at i think 4.6 trillion and then beyond you know and, and cardano obviously will have a market share of that so just be patient it's what doing it's consolidating in a range okay you're broken out kilo resistance just here fell back into support holding it for continuation so you're looking for a break you know relatively soon worst case scenario like i said to you if you do start to roll over put some cheeky bids on this trend line now for me this particular level of support is actually moving up the reason i gave you that 199 is because on the weekly like i said to you if it can consolidate around here and hovers around here for much longer you, your level of support is going to creep up so right now you can see that that yellow line which was the technical target down here which was around about 199 is actually moving up so if you do start to see a correction you know put some cheeky bids on two dollars oh one okay because you can see that key level support which you wicked off just there is actually creeping up so if you was to see a rollover boom a little wick down that would be your key level support bouncing off a 20 in an uptrend on the weekly golden absolutely golden okay and you can see that it's almost like it's what it's coiling up for begging for that retest before it starts to break out okay so for me it's looking okay you're looking relatively bullish for, for cardano moving forward and i do anticipate that at some point we'll get a break here and it'll start to move up the stairs okay so just here there is a, a bit of a exaggerated divergence just here exaggerated bullish divergence sorry i'm going to show you so in the prior section you've got a low and a low which is identical do you see that and then here in the uh, rsi we've got a, a low and a higher low so that's called a exaggerated bullish divergence like that look, look at that so this is why you're getting a little, little bounce at the moment for cardano so you've got a low and you've got a high low in the rsi and then in the, in the price section you've got a low and an equal low that's called an exaggerated bullish divergence okay so this is why you're getting that beautiful little break here now if we start to come back up here and melt out of that you know this could actually be quite bullish for cardano and you could be looking at some kind of retrace to this high just here okay and start to form a new impulsive wave so it's all about resistance and support at the moment so if you do start to see cardano come back up and start to get through these EMAs and retrace through these fib levels basically and starts to take out 298 this is where you're going to see it come back up to the 1618 246 which is a retracement to this 240 244 dollars sorry you know so from here right now if it was continue and put in this bullish exaggerated exaggerated bullish divergence sorry starts to come back up and break this eye you're looking at a beautiful beautiful little impulsive wave and a technical target around about 5.96 percent where i would imagine you're going to retest that trend line and get the retracement started to these levels of resistance in this falling wedge that you've broken out of do you see that so you consolidate in you know you're making these beautiful high lows like this look look at that that's not necessarily high low just there but you are still high lows high lows coiling up in some kind of horizontal you know looking for a break basically for cardano so that's cardano you know you look how close you are to this apex so if you do start to move up here right now and start to break this white trend line you can see you're breaking out of this huge horizontal and you're looking for the continuation here for cardano you're going to start the retracement coming up to there once you break that you're looking at that and once you break that you're looking at a retest of this all-time high and obviously once you break that for cardano you're looking at that white trend line which is four dollars eleven in this bull market you know and you're fully aware that once cardano does break out of key levels of resistance it can move really really swiftly okay so do anticipate that once it starts to break out of these levels of resistance it could absolutely march onto a four dollars twelve relatively quickly you know so we could be looking at quite a bullish month here uh moving forward in november for cardano once it breaks out of these key levels of resistance so that's basically cardano you know worst case scenario you you fall out of this horizontal you know it's not bullish as we think you start to fall out lose this key level support put some cheeky bids down here on two dollars oh one which is the weekly 20 ema which i 
would imagine would act as a really really strong level of support moving forward for Cardano in this bull market uh, one thing I'm going to do is take a look at Cardano versus Bitcoin right now because I think it's getting absolutely smashed up isn't it so on the daily time frame here you're getting really really overextended from the EMA so that's actually a really really good thing you know for me potentially look just here look at that lower low higher low low potentially high low because you really extended from the EMAs and just like I said when you're going up and you're getting too far away from the EMAs you always come back to them as support and it's the same in, in, in you know when you're falling if you get overextended you always come back into them as resistance so for me you know you could Arno could put in a bit of a beautiful double bottom pan just there like it did here getting a little bit overextended came down made a low a high low and then you broke out look at that so right now a low potentially if you're putting a beautiful double bottom pattern and you break that level of resistance just there you're looking to retrace to retest these levels of resistance these emas tighten them up at least test them as resistance something you've not done since way back here on the 30th of December. so you've basically gone a whole month without testing uh, the, the emas as resistance that my friend is begging for a retest so you're going to cool down here ascend possibly hopefully cool down you know come back up break this level of resistance in a ww bottom pan start to come back up and you can see you put in a high low high high you know and you've basically come down like this like this and you're starting to coil and move back up the stairs for for cardano here you know retracing to this 786 uh, technical target so that's basically cardano stay healthy stay strong stay tuned and take care everyone thank you for support bye bye